So as you can see, I have another camera pointed at the console so that you can see what's uh, happening when I sit down. Uh, and I will show you exactly where um, those uh, butt sensors are. Right now I'm sitting uh, kind of leaned forward. So if you can see, I'm leaned forward so it, it's not going to sense me. So if you keep an eye out on those uh, uh, three sensors, right, they basically allow for remote um, movement of these seats. So if you can keep an eye out on those three little remote uh, buttons, uh, since the seats are all the way back now, uh, it only allows for forward movement uh, remotely on the console. So when I sit back in the seat, you can immediately see that the sensor got triggered. So I'll lean forward again. The sensor is not uh, engaged. So I'll sit to the left and, and I can show you. So starting from this side, right? Like I said, it's next to the um, seatbelt uh, attachment point. So I'm not going to sit on it, but I'm going to push, put my fist on it and push down. Yeah. And you can see one of the lights go off, or one of the buttons go off. So you can see that as I push down on it, it uh, actuates, right? So that's a uh, sensor right there. And then in the middle seat, it's right here. This one, I don't need a lot of pressure, actually. It's actually a little bit forward here. So it's not here, but it's like right here. As you can see, that's, that's the sensor. So the reason why you're seeing the other sensor on the left out is because I'm sitting on it. So let me move over one more. Now I'm sitting in the middle, right? And for the middle one, it's actually um, right here. So you can see that I'm pushing down on it and uh, it actuates. There's, there's two ways that Tesla um, senses if there's a person sitting in the seat or not. One is by the butt sensor and the other is by the seat belt. So um, some of you have been asking how have the seats been holding up. Um, I haven't cleaned it since I got it which is uh, a testament of how uh, well the, the color is holding up. So uh, this is how it looks in 4K. So if you can pick out any problem, let me know. Right. So trying to get a good angle. That's the middle seat. And then that's the uh, driver's side. I have noticed that uh, it's not the leather that is, is not leather, but it, this is like fake leather. I've noticed that the seat belts do cause some sort of discoloration on the plastic here, but it's not on the, actually it is on the seatbelt. So, I mean, it is on the, the leather, but uh, it's not that bad. I mean, it's always covered anyway by the seatbelt. Um, the kids have been on this. So again, uh, you can see that there is discoloration from the seatbelt rubbing against um, this portion of it. Uh, I do see a little bit of a fingerprint maybe, but uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sure if I wipe it, it'll go away with some water or something. But so yeah, um, those are the middle row seats or the second row seats. Um, don't know what else to say about them um, except that uh, I think it was a mistake for Elon to not put any armrest. Uh, these seats look gorgeous but uh, they're not very functional so what's the point of having these seats if they're not going to be functional right um, you, when you're cornering or when you're going taking a turn that's uh, pretty fast um, people don't have any grab handles to grab onto um, they basically have to lean on the door <laughs> which is kind of weird um, but yeah the, the white leather or the white uh, fake leather is holding up really well uh, I've taken the kids to camp for a whole month um, three kids in the back and, and uh, no, no real issues the only thing is uh, sometimes they put their feet up on the back of those uh, shiny uh, the seat backs and you do get some scuff marks but uh, that's to be expected um, but yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed this video hope it was uh, informative please uh, like and subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what else you want to see and uh, what you think thanks